discussing about fashion and you know we're talking about it from the female perspective uh, but what, first before I go into what we have today I really hope everyone had a lovely week I mean the week was a bit stressful but thank god it's Friday and we're going to be unwinding relaxing with this part of the show and today we have two lovely people here you know last week we talked about fashion on like the, the female perspective and this week we promised that we're going to come back even better I guess with the guys and we're yep. going to be hearing about fashion from the male perspective I feel like the world has heard so much about fashion from the female perspective because once they talk about modesty and um, fashion everybody first thinks about women so uh today we're going to have the men the boys, the guys, the men, anyone who wants to, <laughs> to choose, we're going to have them today. And today we have the wonderful Dr. Lo- anyway, I'll leave them to introduce themselves. Let me start with Dr. Lulu. So just say hello to the people. Hi guys, it's me, Dr. Lulu. I'm here again. Uh, yep, good to be here. And just and just to make it clear, they brought me here under duress. I'm on. No, we did not. <laughs> He loves <laughs> oh, wow. handcuffs, huh? <laughs> nice one. And also, we have our wonderful, 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 ever loving Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence, you say hi to the people. Guys, hello, guys. It's good to be here. It's good to be here. This is a wonderful radio station. And I'm yes. looking for. Yay! He <laughs> love Yay. himself. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. I mean, these two people. If anything you want to know about them, these are two people that never hold back from saying what they want to say. They'll speak their mind and they're not afraid to speak their mind. So I'm really happy we have them here. Um, You can see the difference between Dr. Lulu, in quotes, and Lawrence. You can see the pride in one person's voice. You can see the humility in one person's voice. We all know what the Bible says about pride and humility, but let's not go there because that's not what we're talking about today, right, Marvelous? Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I'm we're talking about, about very no. <laughs> Oh, please. Oh, please, Dr. Lulu. We all I'm know. The and the one with the humble voice, please. <laughs> oh, my God. We all know. We all know. So, yes, today, today, we're going to be talking about fashion. Um... Uh, we're going to talk about modesty in fashion to be precise you know fashion 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 modesty in fashion and to kick us off i would you know just quickly ask uh these two lovely guys here a question i mean you guys can take turns in you know working this but let me just ask them this question when you talk about modesty now we, we did speak about the female perspective last week so when we're talking about it modesty in fashion i explained what i meant marvelous had wonderful insights and as well when we talk about modesty in fashion what do you think as a guy what do you think uh well first of all i think uh first of all i uh it definitely is the opposite of uh you know being shabby and um not dressing nice nice enough i think uh, many times your uh, modesty should be you making a statement with your dressing uh, but not being uh, being over extravagant or um you know trying to be seductive uh, but yet making a statement so you're making a statement you're making a bold statement of who you are trying to portray or who you think you are uh, but uh, but while not you know while not being extravagant or being braggadocious <laughs> come on <Yeah. laughs> braggadocious <Yeah. laughs> i love <Definitely>. that <laughs> you see you said most of the things you said last week is almost like you were even here last week so also um Lawrence, what do you think about when you hear modesty in fashion as a guy modesty for me i think is just a is a standard from head to toe of what one should look like. Is a is a standard of what one should look like from head to toe. So your dressing shouldn't make. I'm gonna say the opposite of Lulu. It shouldn't make too much of a statement. You don't want your dressing to speak for you too much. Because if it speaks for you, people would have that impression that you are your dressing. Of course, it says 
dress how you want to be addressed, but at the same time, let them, you have to give room for people to, you know, wonder about you and to want to ask questions. But if they see, see you looking like a rich person, like this is a rich person, so any other thing, it's almost like if they ask you to do something and you don't do it at that time, it's like, oh, this person gave us the wrong impression. But yeah, modesty. You don't need to wear too much gold. If you're wearing whatever you might be wearing, so you don't need to be wearing too much Gucci and so forth and everything. So yeah, modesty doesn't make too much of a statement. In fact, it shouldn't make statements. Mm. Okay, I think I see from where both of you are coming from. When Lulu is talking about making a statement, it means you know, more like saying, distinguishing yourself and saying, I am, I belong to this sect of people. I'm a Christian. So that's the statement is making. In your own, you're trying to say, um, it shouldn't make a statement, meaning it's not about people noticing you for the wrong reasons, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm getting that right. Okay, okay, okay. So like opening one button, I know guys do that one, they'll open their phone <laughs> because they are not girls and they feel like they don't have um you don't have cleavage so they can open like a few buttons what is that button doing exactly mother thank you being quiet I want to hear from you. absolutely absolutely I'm, I'm also thinking the exact same thing and like you said i completely absolutely understand um where the both of them are coming from i know lolu is trying to tell us that um he's trying to tell us that we should try not to be too like you said braggadocious <laughs> I wonder if I pronounced that right. We <laughs> shouldn't be too seductive with addressing. We want to make a statement. We want to make people know that we're Christians. You understand? If, for example, if a doctor is is going to visit a patient, the way that he's dressed should show that he's a doctor. You know, mm. not not a an engineer, not mm -hmm. a a uh, a beggar on the streets. You understand? Yeah. So it should make a statement, yes. However, Lawrence is now telling us that we should be careful when we're making a statement because in the end, some people try to overdo things in the yeah. sense that you're not even that rich, but you want to wear all the latest, you understand? You're not even... And then when people see you, they'll be like, oh yeah, Shane Wynn's very rich. She's wearing all this, all this Gucci and all these things. And you know, when you start to behave in a, when you start to behave in a certain way that doesn't really show, you know, like what a rich person should be behaving as people are now like wait what, what what's going on now i thought she used to dress like she's rich so why don't she have a, the character of you know a mature person and stuff like mm. that so yeah it's, it's very easy to understand where the both of them are coming from and yeah nice nice one nice one <laughs> nice. well um just to add to it uh, if you look at if you look at different characters in the bible uh, you will find out that uh, the that that many times the Bible commented at it commented about different people in the Bible and it commented about the addressing. Mm -hmm. uh, right, take for example, if you uh, and you'll find out that many times he commented about the addressing to define while trying to define their character or while trying to define what they were trying to portray at that particular time. Now, take for example, uh, let's start with Solomon. The Bible, uh, Jesus Christ said, said something. He said, look at the beds of the air, look at, you know, the flowers. Uh, even though Solomon in all his glory was well adorned, he was not adorned as, as adorned as these people. Mm -hmm. Now, so that means because Solomon was rich, there was a glory that came with his, with, with his dressing. And so, and obviously because he was a king, there was a gloriousness that came with his dressing. Uh, take a look at in, in the time of transfiguration. The thing that actually changed the most, aside from Jesus' skin, was obviously his dress. And that was trying to depict the fact that he was on another level. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you look at, if, you look at, if you look at people like Elijah and John the Baptist, they dressed the same way because they had the same spirit. Uh, the Bible recorded that John the Baptist and Elijah had the same spirit. And what did they wear? They, wear, they wore the camel, the belt, and you know, you know they were, you know they were, they were quite, you know, really, really modest. So many times your dressing defines you, and many times you can define yourself by your dressing. Mm. Uh, mm. So if you, if you, if you're among students, you want to look like, like, like a student, then you go for the, you know, young and trendy kind of dressing. Mm. If you are, if you're in the office, you want to go for, um, you know, you have the office wear. And they're about, but many times some people, you know, push it, push it to the extreme. You know, people, 
people people are dressing beyond their means mm. or I've, or there was a guy that i saw that really that i that, that i didn't really like it it was summer everybody knew knew it was summer but it wasn't like it was a hon it was like 120 degrees centigrade it was just the normal 15 16 you know degrees and this guy wore his normal shorts and probably you know he just pulled off his shirt and he was going to I, 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 and and he put his bag behind his back so he wore no shirts he was bare chested and he wore shorts <laughs> and he was and he was and you know he, he was walking all the way to the city center you know that's an example of being you know being really not modest and even being braggadocious so mm. you want everybody to know that yes you've been to the gym and all that Wait, seriously sorry talking about this that was kind of i i i, I felt that was kind of extreme mm, okay okay um sorry sorry to even cut you short mama sorry something just came to my head talking about you're going to the gym and then you know all of that um lawrence what do you feel about this whole notion of if you have it flaunted like for instance now you know everybody's <laughs> down, everybody's always breathing down like flaunt what the lord gave you <laughs> yeah everybody's breathing down uh, women's necks and saying oh okay you're wearing the mini skirt you're wearing the uh top that show your boobs you're wearing this what about the guys they know they have muscles but yes there is the test that stops right on top of where their biceps starts that they wear okay oh, what's the purpose or you know, the shirt that they will leave one button out to show their uh Lolo, you used to do this one i used to see it in church Lolo well, okay. will leave, <laughs> leave since you're calling me to that party one, wait, i want to ask lawrence yeah. I want to, okay but first let me just hand over to mother lawrence just keep that thought in your mind mother Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Let's keep the thoughts in our mind. We're going on a quick break and then we'll come back to um, to tackle that question. So guys, don't go anywhere. Stay with us, stay with us. And we're looking forward to the answers that we'll get to that question. So the question before we go on the break is, the notion of flaunt what the Lord gave you or show, you know, flaunt it all out. Is it, is it a good notion? Is it something that as Christians or just as modest youths, is that something we should be doing? Is that something we should be doing? So now we'll be going on a short break. And also we just want to let people know that you can listen to us on our YouTube page. So if you're not listening to us via the link, um, you can listen to us on our YouTube page. Um, we'll definitely be sharing this page on all our platforms. So please look out for that. Thank you. And now it's time for the break. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We want to worship your name. We give you all the glory. You deserve it. For what you're doing, Lord. For what you've done. For what are you going to do again? We bless you, name. We love you. We love you, Jesus. 
good, love the gospel, stay fleeky and stay tuned. Hi, my name is Marvelous. And I'm Shell. Join us every Friday at 2 o'clock on Youth Today as we delve into youth affairs and lifestyle today. We We look forward to sharing with you. Hi, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Yes, so (laughs) um, we are still on the topic modesty in fashion. And of course, we are still on the show Youth Today on ap radio uk thank you very much for joining us so far um of course i'm sure we haven't forgotten the question that we left for the break on um it's flaunt what the lord gave you okay the notion flaunt what the lord gave you you know what that's what everybody says now that's the excuse for you know walking naked on the streets or at least half naked or like um, Dr. Lulu rightly said, bare-chested, you know, you're just walking around, showing everything that God gave you, and of course, there's a pressure, I think it's it's one of the things that, you know, people put pressure on women with, they're like, okay, why can't you show what the Lord has given you, you know, and then when it feels like someone does not even have, you know, much to flaunt, like a beautiful petted lady does not have much stuff to flaunt, then what, what do you want her to flaunt, right? So yeah. what to ask? What to ask, um, Lawrence, bro, yeah. Lawrence? Please tell us what do you think about this notion. Is it right as children of God or as modest youths should we be flaunting what the Lord gave us in quotes? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Let's actually, like you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, say what you think. Okay. Say what you think. We should just flaunt our money and flaunt everything that the God that the Lord gave us. It means everybody should just be flaunting at any time, should just be stunting at any given moment. But in terms of fashion, um <laughs> let's just say for a guy with muscles, in my case, I have I have a lot of shoulder and a lot of chest. It's not, it's not <laughs> I can't go and wear an XXL t shirt. It would look it would look wrong. But for and and it's the same for ladies as well. When they are when they have certain assets, you can't expect them to now. Wear, wear curtains that, I mean, clothes as big as curtains, looking like a fridge in the clothes as well. So no, sometimes it's hard for you not to flaunt in, in, in some senses, but when you go out of your way, you will now buy a t-shirt, you're an extra large, or you want to go and buy a medium t-shirt so that everything will be defined. Or you're a, you're a lady yourself, you know that, all right, you know what, this size 10, you're jumping to put the jeans on. My, my darling, go down there, go up a size, go up a size. There's no need to be jumping to put jeans on. You're struggling. So okay. why would you, in that sense, you're flaunting it. Okay, okay. Absolutely amazing idea. Thank like you it. very much. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, I like that he's very honest. honest he's telling yeah. us that we can flaunt it, what the Lord gave us, but there should be a limit. And that brings me to my question to Dr. Lulu. So, Dr. Lulu, what do you think is the limit? I mean, Lawrence has already so, told us that, um, you know, people want to go out of their way. For example, he gave, he used himself a, as an example, you know, being a buff guy with beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous chest muscles. And, wow, marvelous. And, <laughs> and, and that was all I was hearing, to be honest. Just, I've got chest muscles that show. That was all I heard. <laughs> So, you know, with someone that has been blessed by God like that, he's saying that you don't expect him to, you know, go out of his way to to now, you know, buy shirts that are way smaller than his actual size. You know, you are an extra large and you're trying to force yourself into a medium shirt just because you want to flaunt what the Lord gave you in quotes. So we just want to know, Dr. Lulu, what, what do you think the limit should be? What do you think the limit should be? Um, well, many times it, it, it usually depends on the environment that you are, uh, although there are certain standards that must be met in every environment, uh, but really it depends on the environment that uh, you are. So first of all, uh, modesty does not mean, uh, the reason why, because, because when God, when God, when God, when God, when, when something is beautiful, everybody knows that it's beautiful. And I don't think that it should be hidden. Mm. Uh, because if it's beautiful, there's no point hiding it. Uh, but the problem now comes when you are exposing it to the point whereby you become an object of seduction. Now that's when it's then then that's when you are going out of the will of God. Mm-hmm. So if you have if you have uh, so if you have broad chest, you know, good shoulder, why not wear a very nice fitted shirt, very nice fitted fitted jacket, 
you know on a summer day there's nothing wrong when you know when a good you know body hug there's nothing wrong with that because you have it now if you are skinny and bony why are you doing that because uh, yeah you don't have you don't have the body to carry it. so so at the end of the day you know you are working you know you are working it's like you're exposing something that is not good looking just hide it you understand wow. Oh no, God. is the truth. I did under a very nice shirt. Now, but you cannot wear that same body hug to the pulpit because that is not the etiquette for that environment. You cannot wear that mm. same body hug to the office. That's not the etiquette for that environment. Okay, okay. So thank you very much, Dr. Lulu. First, I think we should we should make something clear to all the skinny people out there. Please, we don't mean in. we don't mean any harm. Dr. Lulu means no harm. In fact, we're just trying to. I'm just trying to tell you th- truths that people don't actually tell you because I feel like you have friends. A, a skinny person would have a friend, and the friend won't. Uh, let me let me change the word. Let me let me use petit instead. So a yeah, petit person yeah. will have a friend, and the friend won't tell the, the, the you know the person the truth yeah, because well, you're to come out in, you're yeah, to come out really in really summer. Really. Yeah, well, so <laughs> no offense yeah, i used to be very very, very skinny. Yeah, exactly no no it's fine that you're very you're very straight to the straightforward and saying the truth because i feel like people need to hear the truth you have a friend that is petite and in summer your friend goes out with body hugging shirts and you know you know things that are not really fitting and mm-hmm. I, I don't i don't think we should be doing this as youth you know you need to know your strengths you need to know your weakness as well you understand Mm. so if like like Lawrence rightly said you know Lawrence has a nice he's an able-bodied young man so he can wear a nice shirt you know a nice shirt that is that hugs his his um his biceps and he'll still look nice but I don't understand what our petit people are doing when they try to copy (laughs) that fashion you need to find what is right for you okay even as Christians the fact that we're Christians does not mean we're boring we also we also need to, you know, we also need to understand that it, the the Lord desires for us to adorn ourselves gloriously, you know, to adorn ourselves beautifully. So like Lulu said, you go on the altar to preach the word of God in a body hugging shirt. That's not the that's not the dress for that occasion. You understand? So we need to both we need to be we need to be um, um conscious of where we are. Like he said, the environment that we're in. And the kind of body that the Lord has blessed us with. So we know the right kind of dressing and the right kind of fashion for each time and each environment. And I pray that God will continue to help us <laughs> in Jesus' name. It's a very, it's a very good topic. I think I think we need to, you know, talk more about these practical things so people understand. And um, well, we're coming to the end of the show, guys. We're coming to the end of the show, and we're very happy and very excited that you stayed with us through this this 30 minutes of the show um so i'll just hand up, over back to to Sheon to, to just okay, give okay okay uh time just flies you know i feel like i'm telling you like it flies, flies. <laughs> time really does fly so yeah. um we have a couple of minutes before the end of the show but you know there's one thing that we always do here wait before i talk about that i just want to say that what both of these guys have said today really just buttresses the point that we made last week. Honestly, I feel like they have probably listened to it or they, <laughs> they were there because they're saying the same thing. At the end of the day, one thing I took from both sides that we also said last week was, at the end of the day, your heart posture matters. Mm. Like where your heart is, what exactly is the notion behind whatever you're doing. So yes. that is i'm really 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 happy that we got mm. still re-established today but you know one thing we do on this show after we we've spoken about everything time does fly we can't touch on every subject but the mm. things that we the things that we uh that, that, that we are able to talk about i hope we've passed across a great message but one thing that we always do before we close any show is talk about what the bible what we feel the bible is saying about this notion i don't know who wants to go first lulu or, or dr lulu or, or lawrence lawrence what do you think is the bible saying about this thing we have a few more minutes so it'd be nice if you just wrap up with that and it was in timothy when it says that you know it says that women should dress themselves in respectable apparel and i think that's speaking to men as well respectable means you respect yourself with modesty and self-control so for, so for me that keyword is that self-control 
just don't do it for reasons known to you. Don't just don't do it for reasons known to you. Do it for reasons that brings glory to God, not just and prophesying your godliness as well. It puts in that second Timothy as well with your good work. So you have to prophesy your godliness. You, your, you can't dress and then it's not prophesying godliness. Somebody will see you and be thinking that you're of another, of an of, of another, what's it called? You're not even a child of God. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dr. Lulu, we're coming to you. So what 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 is your your take on what the Bible says about modesty in fashion? So we're talking about generally. Uh, we don't have so much time left there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, obviously it's the same. I think uh, one of the one of the places where fashion was talked about uh, directly is um, actually the same, you know, um, place where Peter was saying that women should not just dress themselves in, um, you know, good well, Paul, was it Paul? Yeah, well, in good apparel, <laughs> my, I beg your pardon. Well, in good apparel, uh, but they should also, you know, give themselves to the word of God. But you must also understand that throughout the Bible, um, you know, the Bible still mentions about, um, talk, you know, talks about fashion. And many times uh, you will find out that you need to dress according to your purpose. Mm. So there are times when you can afford some things, but your purpose or your assignment at that particular time does not... Um, allow you to go ahead and you know buy those things mm -hmm. uh, it's part it, it's part of suffering it's still suffering for christ you know someone like um you know many of the prophets like elijah and and, and all those people now they were wearing camel um camel whatever and leather belts you know not anyways they're asking me to round up okay. <laughs> not because they couldn't afford it but because that was their suffering and that was their purpose at that time all right. so dress according to your purpose that would just be my last thank you guys i'm thank so thank you very much Lulu, Lawrence, thank, thank you. you please don't be strangers to us on this show thank you guys thank you marvelous for also being a wonderful co-host i mean hey, can't my pleasure you. my pleasure thank you everybody for tuning in today thank you to our partners on mz radio thank you and also to our producer ophils thank you please please tune in again next week at this same time on ap radio uk at two o'clock to youth today and listen to my dear wonderful marvelous and i again host this show and take you guys on a journey about youth today and what the bible is saying about these things please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on AP Radio UK and then email us at apradiouk at gmail.com if you want to talk about anything, if you want us to talk about anything, if you have any questions for us in particular, we're very, 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 very available. You know, we're going to talk about these things subsequently. And because the time is too short, we might even increase the time, you know, if we get good engagement from you guys and we would love to hear from you thank you so much for joining us today we'll be signing out now and have a wonderful wonderful weekend thank have you have a wonderful weekend bye, bye. <laughs>